First up, we need a Python project in PyCharm. In PyCharm, let's select new project and we can give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and accept the defaults here because I have Python 3.11 on my system, which is the version I want to use. And I also want to use a virtual environment. When I click OK, PyCharm is going to go ahead and create our project for us. Next up, we are going to create a pyproject.toml file and an editable install for our project. Let's make a new file over in our root called pyproject.toml and we'll give it a name and a version and we'll add our dependency on pytest. Before we go any further, let's also create a directory for our source files. So we can do this in PyCharm by specifying src for source backslash our project name. Now we'll open the terminal tool window staying inside PyCharm and use pip install dash e space dot. And this is the command that's going to create an editable install for us based on our pyproject.toml file. Fantastic. That's worked. We're now ready for the next steps. Small detour here. If you don't need to create an editable install, a requirements.txt file will work absolutely fine. We could create a requirements.txt file in the same way we just created a pyproject.toml file, and PyCharm will give you auto-completion on these to help you figure out what you're looking for. That said, for this project, I'm going to stick with my pyproject.toml file. Last step, important step. We need to create a new test directory so that PyTest knows where to look for our test. Pretty important, right? OK, small note here because it's interesting and I think you'll want to know. Let me show you how PyCharm configures the test runner that it's going to use. Go into your settings, search for test runner. This whole dialog is completely searchable. In this particular project, PyCharm has already set our test runner correctly to PyTest because we installed it as a requirement. However, PyCharm uses unit test by default, so this is worth knowing just in case you ever want to check which test runner you're using. And that's it. Easy, right? In the next video, we're going to see how writing tests with PyTest inside PyCharm can make you more productive.